I'm Karen Mobley. I decided to apply for laboratory partly because I've been going to laboratory events here in Spokane and I've been intrigued by the people who have been coming as guests of laboratory and I thought it would be fun to come and hang out with the cool people at laboratory. <laughs> um, so I wrote my proposal to laboratory in the fall um, with the understanding that it would be one of these projects that happens during the summer that is about the Spokane region. And one of my thoughts was I wanted to do something that would allow me to really enjoy the region, to be outside, to visit places that I like to go around Spokane County, and to be something where I could bring art essentially to people in the community. I worked for about 30 years in the formal art exhibiting world. I worked for commercial galleries, I was the director of three art museums, and then I worked at Spokane Arts, which is the Spokane Arts Commission, for 15 years. So I've been a curator, a museum director, I've organized a lot of um, you know, traditional, if you will, art events in art institutions or through art programs like public art programs, the Chase Gallery here in Spokane. Um, I've also been an artist for most of the last 35 years. I have an MFA in art from the University of Oklahoma, and I've probably, I don't know what the exact number is, but I've had over 125 exhibitions. This is the first time, other than doing murals projects, where I've worked on something where I create a work of art and just put it out there to be discovered or um, interacted with in this way. Um, so my project is very low tech. Right? Um, it's not an interactive thing that requires, I don't know, voice activated software or something like that. It's about me interacting with the community on the ground, at the picnic table, at the park bench. Um, so I've gone out to nine locations, um, some natural areas like Turnbull, and um, we went out on Saturday to, or excuse me, Sunday to um, visit Dishman Hills and we hung out um, at both of those places near the natural area doing some drawing and then after the drawing activity um, have gone on a little hike or a little walkabout with some of the people who came out to draw. So it's been both an opportunity to draw and an opportunity to share places and experiences in Spokane County with people that might not normally go there. Some places, like the very nice Australian bird watchers that I met at Turnbull, they were like, wow, cool, we'll just sit down here for a little while on this rock and talk to you and we'll draw and you can tell us about other bird watching spots in Spokane. Um, other places I've been, people are like, what? You know? <laughs> I don't draw. It, there's a lot of people who are kind of afraid of drawing and painting. I think that maybe when they were kids, they were told they were doing it wrong, and so they have anxiety about doing it. Um, there are also people that um, they seem like they're like rushing about the way that people often are. Um, I was in Riverfront Park the other day, and I wasn't. That wasn't a scheduled drawing activity, but I was in the front park. I had my drawing pads out and I was sitting by the new Orange Bridge on Howard and there were people coming through on their lunch hours and I invited them to draw with me. And a lot of them, I could tell that they were just, you know, being busy people. And it, even though it was lunchtime, they weren't gonna slow down to spend 15 minutes drawing on a drawing pad. They're kind of like, oh wow, cool, I'd like to do that, but I don't have time right now. Uh, which we live in a very busy culture, you know, people are rushing around all the time. It's not surprising. Um, and so it's been, it's kind of been a, an interesting experience. It's also been interesting to be very on the ground in this project. I mean, literally walking everywhere, sitting on the ground or sitting in public areas because you see the world in a different way than you do when you're driving or when you're going to formal spaces that are designed to be art exhibiting or art making places. I like being outside, you know, doing the whole thing, the sunshine, I guess seeing beautiful things, if there are beautiful things, 
um, spending time where maybe I normally wouldn't go. I mean, there's a lot of really cool places around Spokane County that when I'm busy, I never get to. The artwork's created by me, but also the people who left behind artworks from the project. So not every work of art will be by me. Some of it will be by other participants. Um, they will be installed in a variety of sort of surprising places around the county. So I've made what I'm calling tree sandwiches, which is kind of a funny way to describe it, but they're pieces of plexiglass that can sandwich the drawings and be ziplocked to trees. And then I'm also going to take a number of the drawings and install them in other places where people might discover them. And some of those places are, um, and this is kind of silly, but the backs of the doors of women's restaurant restrooms in um, various places that I go regularly. So um, I'm getting magnets and I will take some of them and leave them in a variety of places that I frequently go. Um, there will also be some on the grounds of the Northwest Museum of Arts and Culture. Um, I talked yesterday with a guy who owns a bar that is downtown that I go to a lot and he's like, oh yeah, I want one of those in our street tree. <laughs> um, so I have to figure out, the street tree is really, really tiny. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I wasn't really thinking that I would hang them in really fragile new trees because I don't, the idea of zip tying is that they don't hurt the tree, right? I'm not adhering something to the tree. I'm not boring holes in the tree. It's a thing that can be up and then I can either go back and get it or, um, which I plan to do in a month or so, or if somebody wants to take it down, they can just cut the zip tie with a pair of scissors and it'll be off the tree. Um, so, I don't want it to feel like I'm littering or I'm being invasive or and I don't want to hurt anything. So um, and I've also made some placards that go on the back of each of them that say, if you're the person who found this, this is what it is. Mm -hmm. So it describes what the analog art project is. It talks about where we went and what we did and what laboratory is, and it has information about how to contact me if the person would like to contact me. And I invite the person to either keep the drawing or to return it to me by calling my cell phone number and I'll come and get it. So, you know, I think people might steal them or be excited to find them because there's a kind of sense of discovery in the project where somebody can discover something and you know, if they're excited about discovering it, they might leave it there, but they also would have, if they wanted to, an opportunity to take it away with them. Um, I'll be very interested to see, because I just started putting the pieces out, um, I'll be interested to see what people's reaction is. And because they're not all my works of art, you know, there's a variety, like I have a piece from a little girl whose name is Miriam, who's two years old. Well, her piece will be out there with mine, along with ones from other artists who've been here at laboratory, like Carrie Wang, who was from New York and China. She made a drawing specifically before she left laboratory so I could exhibit her work as part of the project. One of the things about being at laboratory which is true of a lot of residency programs, there's a true opportunity for solitude if that is something that you seek. Um, there's also an opportunity if you seek it to have some camaraderie with the other artists. I have a Facebook page, which is Karen Mobley Artist, Writer and Art Consultant. And then I also have a website, which is KarenMobley.com. Um, I have an Instagram, which is Karen Mobley. Um, pretty much, my Instagram is totally public, so people can get on there and see whatever I'm posting about my shows or my other things. Um, my website is a, probably more like a more formal kind of portfolio, so it has paintings from most of the last five or six years, and there'll be eventually some pictures of this project up there. Um, so people have a chance to see what kind of work I do and what I'm involved in. Great. Thank you. Cool. That'll be it.